A year for accumulation with Monex, featuring managing partner of CPM Group and author of the Monex Precious Metals Market Outlook Report, Jeffrey Christian. Hello, my name is Sean Brasney, Sales Director for Monex Deposit Company. I'm here with Jeffrey Christian, Managing Director of CPM Group and author of our Year for Accumulation Report. We did see the dollar break a long-term monthly uptrend while gold was breaking out of and above a long-term monthly resistance level. Do you think this has the makings of a potential trend reversal? We're definitely seeing the beginnings of a major shift in global attitudes toward the dollar and toward gold. Uh, we have saw a lot of demand for gold from shorter term investors in the second half of June into the first half of July. And you're also seeing, as I, I mentioned earlier, greater reluctance about the dollar uh, in terms of foreign investors and central banks. And so I think that what you're seeing is a greater reluctance to hold dollars. In addition to that, Investors want dollars for a variety of reasons, one of which is that they want to invest in the U.S. economy or the U.S. stock market or the U.S. real estate. And with the gathering trade wars and the, the seeming to outsiders uh, irrationality of the trade wars, you know, we've had threats against China, but we've had threats against Mexico and the EU. Just about everybody except maybe Israel has been threatened with, with sanctions and tariffs and, and import restrictions. And in that kind of environment, you're finding foreign investors saying, I don't want to invest as much in the U.S. as I had. And we're seeing it personally in, in the business that we conduct. A lot of foreign investors simply not interested in investing in U.S. companies or U.S. Uh, stock market at this time. And when you're doing that, when you're pulling back from investing in the U.S., you don't need dollars to finance those uh, investments. And so the, there's less demand for the dollar and the dollar can weaken. Also, palladium today hit a new historic high. And in our report, the report you did for us, you mentioned something that I think a lot of investors may have missed or overlooked. And that's that palladium may benefit from a interest rate cut. Can you explain more why? Well, right now you've seen a very sharp decline in auto sales in China uh, this year. Uh, as well as about a 1.6% decline in U.S. auto sales. And U.S. and China are the two largest markets for light-duty uh, passenger cars. And in China and the United States, these are gasoline-powered, so they use palladium-intense catalysts. The palladium market, for all of its price strength, has seen some weakness in demand from fabricators who use the stuff in auto catalysts. If you have a rate cut in the United States, and if that flows through to uh, rate weakness in other countries, you might see a revival in auto sales to some extent. And if you do see that, then the auto catalyst manufacturers are going to need more palladium, and they'll be coming into the market for that. And that will put additional upward pressure on the palladium price. Jeffrey, thank you very much for, again, your time and your knowledge. A great opportunity for our investors right now to call Monex and ask for your free year for accumulation report.